as well. So scary scenes for Lays. They really need to lock in right here if they want to stand a chance to survive this gauntlet up against this guy. Oh, it's, it's easier said than done. Tall task to be asked here. Lays does match the start on the defender side, which is, by statistics, the winning side. But of course... Yeah, the more favoured side. The more favoured side. Yeah. This map pool is actually pretty attack sided on a lot of maps, but Ascent is one of those maps where it is still considered defender sided. This guy is starting on this attack with a double duelist, Juicy in tow with that ISO. Let's see if he can mimic that sort of success that Vera had that ISO on Haven. Trap play setup. Yep, trap play setup. They're gonna try to play off that contact here. Vera has actually made his way through. He knows it's there, but he's just gonna they wait. Know mid. Yeah, they know it's mid. They're gonna try to wait out for it. That's gonna be it. Starman does manage to find Sam's and the rest of what? the team. What? Finds them all straight away with one utility just utilized like that. Lenny and Divine have something to say about that. Just try to okay. pin them. But the rest, Styron has made his way into B side. Oh, we've seen him do it once. I think he knows what he's capable of after that impressive 3k he had on Haven. And they're all tagged down low. He's managed to sneak his way all the way towards the CT. He's got to wrap them around as well. He's playing the absolute mind games. IGL versus IGL plus a 1 HP Divine. How did he navigate this? They think he's backside. If he finds the timing, he has the shock darts as well. The smoke comes through onto the spike. Shot Not down. gonna use anything. Shot down anybody. comes oh, in no. first and it catches Lenny. Now it's Divine, he needs an instant one tap with the headshot and it's not gonna be the case. Styron lives up to his name. Three kills in the round. DSG, despite them finding success at the start of the round, Lace fought back valiantly, but the damage they took could not be recovered. Styron just big baiting it, playing with his utility, playing with his food. That pistol in his back pocket. I'm just gonna say, I know this is round number one, but Styron is a totally different player from what we, we used to see him in the, the past seasons. He he is in the top, in the, the pinnacle of his form right now. The way that he's playing, he's, he looks so re almost relaxed actually. Uh, just rotating, chilling in the way. And he knows exactly what needs to be done to take them down. This guy's with the first that. point. Lays doesn't I get any that. buy here. And now they're playing a little bit more defensively. Not going to be hovering up in mid sight, But this is uh, the time for this guys to pull the trigger and overrun them. Yeah, they don't really have a lot of utility or weapons. They're just stacking four players towards this side of the map and hoping for the best. DSG though, they need to use their utilities properly to, to declare out these ratty corners. The drone comes in just to clear out A main as well as Y. They know that area is gone. But the problem is the stack is towards the site itself. Kenji's got to be first contact towards the shot position. Here comes the shield. Ooh. He doesn't even get a shot off. Shield still in action. Spot out the player at the dice position. Paranoia comes through, but no frags just yet. Grumble answers with Thames. Juicy onto Divine. And there's still one player though. Zen hiding in hell. They haven't cleared him out. Oh no, they know. Para. His due diligence done. Flawless round coming in. As perfect as you would like. It looks a bit different from Haven indeed. Um, they Now it seems as though they're just walking around with Flawless. They have full crats all the way. Even for Lace, they can buy now, but it's not going to be the fullest of buys. Half armor for the side of Kenji. Yes, Lenny got the half armor, but he has the Odin. He's going to try to double down on B side. This could be the right read though, if you take a look at the position of DSG members right now. Yeah, they're just going to be playing a little bit slow. I think that is the name of the game, Rumble. Avoiding the Odin of Lenny. Great shot shield? dart, breaks the shield of Juicy. The scan as well, going to force him back. That is the Lenny that we know and love, right? He's so proficient being that Sova. Oh, An absolute nuisance. Yep. Yeah, they're going to try to connect to anybody, but at the very least, deterring the likes of DSG from the tracks into B side. And that's going to force them up into mid. They know they're not going to go to B. Vera is ready, but he gets caught out. Sorry, Dan gets caught out here. Oh, Vera finds another. That's going to be Thames. They're so snappy right now. They have full control of mid side. The whole entire map is cut into half of them. And Divine goes down as well, putting the nail into the coffin. 
All right, Kenji, show us what you got. You got your trip set up, but it's not really for a cat split. And that's exactly where they're coming. So many angles to work with. Has to hold down the fort. No, you know, nowhere for him to back off to. He just has to stand and fight. Only good for one. And now Letty, they saw him towards that B side now. They know he's going to be coming in from that direction. All right, magic to find tap, one. Tap, tap, tap. Oh. The Odin too, I mean, that's, that's the least you can worry oh, about. But down to 7 HP, he is so close to going down. Yeah, but DSG, I mean, after that Haven map, I, I really do feel like they are very much aware of how the rotations are going to be working out. Styron, you know, we saw in the head-to-head -head against Lenny, his stats weren't the best, right? Mm. It, yep. it wasn't anything comparable. The ACS was huge, vastly different, but he's the captain of this ship. And as long as the ship makes it to the port, that's all that matters. And right now, he's calling an amazing game. Amazing series. Map 1, Map 2, fantastic start. Wins the bonus yet again. On the eco is Lace. And it's almost as if Lace is actually getting scared of DSG just because of the amount of, of members they were put into one position to try to shut one member down. Hopefully get a second, but that really shows the respect that they have for oh. them. Oh, Thames goes down. Verifies one for himself as well. And the mid grinder. It's not even a meat. It's a mid grinder mid because gr everything happens out there. Yeah, the, oh, look at the mini map. It's three X's stuck in that little cubby. Oh, they had nowhere else to run. Both angles are being watched for. NG. A straggler coming in late. Uh, any, any damage would be nice at this point in time. Around, maybe. But DSG are just so sharp right now. I feel as though Valet's mentality is getting shaken up a little bit. You can see they're not exactly peaking the way that they really want to. Missing out the the head the head holes that they really need to, to connect out. Well, deep. silver lining, Lenny does get Hunter Spirit. Odin gets picked back on, but the threat is at the brink of its life. The moment this round gets taken down, they're gonna be scraping up the barrel once again. Yeah, uh, half armors being purchased up by Lays. The approach I think they had to the Haven game. Like the idea, but you still got to get the rounds in, right? If, even if you got the money. Knives being popped. Vera might be going for a very aggressive push here. The updraft perhaps breaks the second trip as well. Oh, oh but the scan from Letty. That is what you need. Beautiful utility from the silver. But they still managed to get in. The tag coming on to Juicy. He has to just jump in. Hope for the best. Lenny still spams him all the way from CT through the wall. That is incredible range. But that's why he's so feared in these parts. Spotted out on the flank. Divine knife out. Started playing up against his former teammate. Long-standing teammate. Antistry is not going to be able to get anything. DSG should be able to be afforded that plant. I think they're actually trying to wait and fish out for any more members coming in from Lace. But they're not going to bite the bait here. Instead, they're going to go for the plant. I don't think they actually realize that Siren's all the way in the back. Uh, going to play off the, the post plant. Hunter's Fury is available mm. for him. Lace oh, has to, to make a move on though. Not, not for the spike plant, but it's for oh. them rushing on to... You know, B lane, the B lane position, beautifully done, catches up the temps, attack onto Zen as well, gives his team a lot more of a shot in this one, mid side smoke for Wayne, dancing within it, Zen finds his teammate, Wayne, when do you pounce, when do you find the answer, isolates the duel, but it's Lenny to come out on top with 4 kills with the Odin no less. Finally, we see Lays back on into the usual path. And I like the adaptation here. They allowed the likes of DSG to walk through into B main here. Lenny with the unsuspecting Odin behind the walls. Managed to take out Vera there. And then suddenly mobility has been lessened out. No more dashes. Even for Juicy, he struggled to get onto site itself. Okay, That's pepper down. Just yep. spray through the wall. Good stuff coming in from Lazier. I'm seeing some adaptation. That's what we really like to see here. Odin is still in the hands of Lenny, but Operator has been picked up by Vera. And uh, this could be a mid-control fight. Yeah, evidently a slow approach, right? With the op in hands of Vera. They want to find opening picks, catch a defender out of position, off guard. Not every day you see the attack side Operator in play. Oh, look what he is too. He is so aggressive. Zen's close though. Zen's close down mid. 
I don't know if they expect him to be here already. And if Varus the first one to go through, it's gonna be a really hard angle to clear. And yeah, he's not even gonna look in that angle. Ooh, not able to escape in the mid. Exactly Do you see? Nice are. swing coming in from him. Here comes Neural Theft. Now they know the exact positions of the defense. They're gonna pounce towards this A side. Nobody actually within the A side. They're gonna bring the spike all the way around from A main. Just leave Juicy alone towards short to potentially find a frag. Wayne, oh. the one to find the opening, catches Temps. What's that heaven position? Might want to go up for even more. That is dangerous. That is bold. How to call for a bit of utility if he wants to do so. The drone first. Push them off. Spike planted. Spam potentially? No. Avoids it. You can see the respect coming in from Lace here. Lenny with the Odin all the way in mid side, but you, you take a look at the rest of them, they're just holding off, waiting for all the utilities to go, to go away. There's so much respect for the utilities that they even use. And uh, Wayne's actually within the right proximity here. Doesn't even need him. Starmar finds him! Okay! Uh, I told you, he sees things we don't. Uh, there was no scare, there was nothing. Just pure instincts. Starmar with three shuts out the round. Five to one. DSG running rampant. I, I don't really know if this is like peak Styron or this is Styron that knows what opponent he's he's handling. I, I, I feel it's a ladder here and uh, I think Lace, they, they really need to get a timeout. There you go. Yeah, yeah, uh, much needed. N the economy is in a weird spot. Look at the bunny. Zen can buy an op if he wants or he can just drop a gun, right? Uh, yeah, that is the discussion I think they're having. He's one of the Blade Storm, so if they fight for maybe A main they or, or B main, probably A main, right? They, they can maybe get the orb it's gonna be difficult either side they choose yeah and, and we all know how dsg pushes through main like it's no tomorrow they they really contest for it yeah, so confident yeah could not could be a risk that they're not willing to take here could be just a, a double drop but you know these are discussions that they are making right now and it seems as though this guy <laughs> is having a fun time five to one excuse me uh yeah, it's rough. I mean, it feels like everything that DSG are doing, they can get away with it. Yeah. And Styron's calling has been second to none. Uh, every time they want to execute onto a site, it's always in their favor. Yeah, flawless after flawless. Kenji does have the neuro theft, but this requires oh, then he's you. Gonna spam. Then he's gonna spam. Then he's gonna spam down mid. <laughs> this is the, the the KO flash comes through. The smoke comes in. The recon dart above it, and then he just spams away. Yep. Oh, he has to look, look out for his mid top because there is a Styron to potentially stop him. Oh, that was great use of a utility. Juicy at yeah. base whatsoever. My god. You would think that that would have caught them off guard, but he is so ready for whatever Lace was coming with them. Like, uh, Lenny couldn't spam because there's a bulletproof wall just flying towards his position. His bullets ain't gonna penetrate that one. Zan, they need him. They spot out his leg. Oh, Why no. swing from Vera on the wall, bang onto Zen. Adding insult to injury, one by one they fall. Blind shot from Vera. And he's just running straight in their faces with a one shot gun. Last two in the heavens, flash out perhaps. Attempt being tried, they get two kills. Genji, a chance in hell. And now down to 1v1. Doesn't matter what he uses, one shot done. Kenji out of the round. The damage being communicated across. Guys, he's one shot. You don't need the up. Just whip out the shorty and get the job done. Oh, but good job nonetheless coming from Kenji as well as Lenny really there. holding down the, the site that it is. But a little too late there. Having Vera just wrapped around shorty onto his face. But maybe that could be the hope that Lays really needs right now. That's a very nice attempt from Kenji. A fantastic flash from Temps. Kenji managing to get a couple of frags, but it was like, what, a 2 versus 4, 2v5? Yep. So difficult to come back off of that. Oh, the setup from the attacking Cypher as well. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting one just to spot out presence, expecting them to potentially take control over B main. And there's four players on Lace here. I mean, this is... Uh, I feel like I'm seeing it over and over again, right? It's just an eco, it's a buy, it's an eco, it's a buy. Yep. And they're down in that vicious cycle. This time, Juicy, again, with his bulletproof wall, gets him access to bid for, for free, basically. Yep. Uh, a bit of an unlikely pattern here. This wasn't the laser we saw a month ago. 
up against the SG in a sense. And now it's so they can't exactly do anything. And the read is coming right for the SG here. They are hovering around A main. The rest of Lace, four members up in B. Only a one divine to try to stop them in their tracks. And he is up here. Gonna meet Juicy in just a very bit. But of course, you know how he is with the ISO. Yeah, I don't know if you clear the top angle. 30 seconds left. Apaka comes through. Spotted out, but... Juicy doesn't even need to go on this, right? He just needs to show presence. Just needs yep. them to respect that short position. Grumble, the one to actually pick up the kill, the first one, and that's all the way in the flank. But they want to accelerate into the site. The retake comes through. Vera has so many angles to worry about, but Siren's just the one to pick back up all these frags. Then he somehow sticks his way to the gen position, but Wayne's there for that trade frag. And now, Divide, he was the, he was the one, the first contact here. But now he's the last one to go down. Grumble picks up. That final kill. No, 7 to 1. DSG running away with things. I wish we had Styron's point of view, though. Not gonna lie. He took up, what, what, two, three kills? Just standing in one position up in the middle of A side? Yeah. Yeah. He has to come in, you know? With, uh, we saw it on A. Just a, uh, a little yeah. strafe here and there. One or two shots fired, and it's so deadly accurate. When he gets into the zone, when he gets to that flow state, it's, it's hard to beat. Absolutely. Now buy is available for Lace. This is they're around to do something and they are committing for it. They have the operator in the hands of Zan. And uh Ultimate is available for Thames to really shut down utility. That's been so annoying for them to deal with on the side of this guys. But if only they can use it at the right time. Kenji does find Juicy. Silver lining in play here. That is gonna be the Fine. ISO. Finally, they shut down Juicy. He was doing that same move three rounds in a row. Yeah. Just sends out the wall. Pops his double tap, runs down mid, gets it for free, and then they can play off of that. But finally, spy. Lace shut it down, and it, it, honestly, not really much that Lace did, correct? It's just Juicy being a little bit overzealous, but still, regardless, a fantastic opening frag for Lace right here. The double flash comes through, Divine spotted out, takes the TP away. The Null Command actually committed by Temp, so that's gonna funnel them away into the B side. Somehow, Grumble has just bunny hopped his way into lane. Oh, you gotta cancel that, buddy. Yep. Oh, oh no. when it turns around, um... Styron's lurking as that Sova. Zen shuts him down as the spike goes down towards this B site. A lot of weird moves happening from both camps. But still, man advantage for that lay site. They have a chance to string one more round in their favor. Oh. Spots out the foot, but doesn't connect onto the shot. They're waiting though. They're waiting for Lenny on the flank, but he's on barely any HP. And they gotta move fast. The spike is ticking. Vera's here, dancing around, evades the kill. Lenny coming on the back lines where his teammates have all fallen in their face. Vera strikes. Lenny with the pre-fire, the wall bank shot, but Wayne is just chilling. Wayne is just playing the time. There's no more chance for Lenny. Has to run away, scamper as he might, but Wayne's there to pick up that frag. And that was Juicy falling within the first kill, and they still weren't able to capitalize on it. And I, I really feel it's the way that they hold on to mid, because when they did manage to take Juicy down, they were still hovering around market. They weren't going to go for the... They want to go for more space That's up through mid and try to get those information. With that, unable to make rotates fast enough, and Lenny, of course, being completely blocked out by the, by the setup that we see from this side of Grumble. Oh, ah. I Temp's having a really rough game as well. Usually he's such a, an insane initiator player, but maybe not the most comfortable on the KO this time around, or maybe just feeling the pressure of this DSG squad. Vera now top mid with the up, looking for the market player. A jiggle might just cost him his life, but the flash will afford him a little bit of information. Hunter Ooh. 3 and a bunch of tags. Lenny finds the kill onto Styron as Zen peeks out and finds Vera as well. That is a mid crunch that you desperately need. And they do so effectively. Two kills found, they just scamper away. Scampering away. DSG does have control of mid though. They have some points to move forward. They're giving that respect that they really need. Zen's all the way in the back too, just in case they crawl towards their spawn. Yeah, they close the door. So Juicy is stuck in you know, rock in a hard place. Pops the shield. Bye. Zen oh. more than ready. Here. Yeah. And I think that's uh, what, they what they need. Just uh, the unpredictable plays here. Zen understood, understood that. Taking down another member. 
win and grumble the last two alive they are having in the entry points of a side but look at how how cypher shut this side <laughs> is no hard feelings My 30 seconds that was, that was a hard trip to break nice attempt nice shot from kenji two rounds on the board for lays and safe to say i mean it feels like i'm repeating what happened on haven but they need these last two rounds Oh man, two to eight. And these are the last two rounds that they they had before the side swap. This guy's is just gonna use every single time that they have to really discuss to chill or maybe even use the toilet. But for Lace, they need to be scrambling too. Yeah, I mean that round was a little bit ambitious coming in. Um not, not, not ambitious, but it was a nice attempt from Lace. Uh this time the mid crunch strategy worked, right? It was the flash to notify of where the players were. Dart together with Hunter's Fury and Aggression from Zen to find those two opening kills. And that is something that I think Lays will need to continue to have, right? Is to disrupt DSG's game plan. Because right now, Juicy is basically just running out mid for free. You need to somehow stop that or push him back when he gets that space. If yeah. not, you're just going to lose so much map control. You're going to lose space. And then when they execute, you, you don't have much else you can do except tuck in and hope for the best. Yeah. Yeah, I'm also worried just because of how much utility yeah. they really need to, to invest yeah. to shut these guys down for even one round. Mm -hmm. And now that Kenji is the only one with the dual theft, Hunter's Fury is far from yeah. available. And the rest, of course, we don't have to talk about it. They they really be, need to be proactive in, in the way that they play or perhaps take a page out of Zan's books to be a bit unpredictable that they actually cannot see it coming. You haven't seen a lot of A main fights or B main fights, to be honest, from Lace. We we saw some, but most of the times bit. it ends up in a in a wet noodle fight and no one really goes <laughs> down. <laughs> most of the oh, time they, they try to let them go in. Yeah. Wow, oh, he's making his presence known. Uh, oh my uh, gosh, uh, he's uh, pepper uh, down. He is bold. Uh, he is very bold to test Lenny like that, and he will pay with his life. But that is just a distraction. The rest of his team looked up. Was in a main position, not making a bunch of noise, but lays. They have three players stacked towards this position, a trip for them to work around as well. The up-down setup from Divine and Zen should be good for the first at the very least. Yeah, and they're not budging. Here. Super disciplined here. Of oh, course, when utility comes, <laughs> it's going to be tough for them to really hold that up-down. Converging all their players, Grumbles come in from this catwalk position as well. Temps will be spotting him out, and that should be the call for the utility to come through. The paranoia is perfectly done. Hunter's Fury will clear out Temps. Way with a kill on Divine. And the rest of the players scrambling on the heavens. 3v4. Their position is known. Lenny with a stand kill. Vera around the corner. Then he just shuts it all down. Left, right, and above. Last round. All the kills in his favor, 9-2 to two DSG. Such dominance displayed in this series already. And individual brilliances just shining through. And that's what I'm talking about. Utilities coming in, teamwork is coming in for the side of this guy. That wasn't even most of his abilities, just the smoke screens. But after that, it's fully on the neural theft that comes through. The, the ability to, to work off of the information and he just got a 4k straight away. And this is just day one of stage number three, guys. I, I don't know what is going to be pivoting for the side of DSG, but this is looking like a well-oiled machine that is unstoppable. But Zen does find one with the help of Thames. I think that's up and mid mid. Yeah, that's mid side. Oh, big kills from Lenny. Lenny again just doing damage without even seeing his opponent. And here comes the Neural Theft, they know where he's gonna be. Wayne TPs across, but he's gotta get his buddy in as well. Styron with the spike, that's the most important one. Drops a smoke, he wants to play aggressive, and he needs to be aggressive. He doesn't disrupt this, they're just gonna be crunched upon in the side. Planted. So you wanna brave this smoke, Zen, expecting it. Wayne, hoping for a chance in hell, and they're being wrapped upon. Lenny's going to flank as well. They've got all these corners watched for. They know he's being aggressive, pops the camera. But now they know where Wayne's gonna be. Siren away, both find the kills though. Last it's doable. Two down. versus two. Temps finds the second to last. And now it's just Siren again in the clutch. But they're so low. These two players on such low HP. Siren oh. Al-Gaib does it yet again. The clutch from the IGL. 10 to 2. Exactly the same on Haven.
and they look to stretch themselves into that upper bracket. Was the semi-finals? Uh, upper bracket finals. I mean, it's been class from DSG. It's, this is crazy. We're getting highlight after highlight from each of the member here, and I, I'm actually realizing the way that they've been playing, where they hold, is not exactly uh, how we we expect. You know, we expect to peek out and they they would just swing wide, they swing they swing they swing short, but they're looking all the way into the corners of the crevices of where they're hiding, and this is how this guys, the members of this guys, is able to capitalize so much. And now second round, pistols reset. Lays has to do something here. They need to do something miraculous. And DSG are not, you know, letting off the gas. They push it again. They're pushing towards A main. This is something we have not seen Lays do, you know, pretty much a lot. Yeah, yeah, they put a little bit of a lurk there in the form of Divine, but not active control. I shocked our damage as well. The fact that no member of this guys is holding mid, I the best read in the world or the worst mistake, but Lace is not sending any members up in mid too. I, I think the door is closed and you just have Juicy watching all the way from the back. The the, the concept is, going you know, they have to get to the side eventually. We're just going to put out most of our players here, lock down the tight corners and the tight choke points and just ignore the mid portion because eventually they will have to come to our side. Yeah, potentially, and I, I, I do agree with that. And look how disciplined the members of Disguise are well are sitting down. Three in the A site, two in the B. Additionally, Trap Wires and Spy Cam is available for them. Now, Liz has to make something happen. 30 seconds left on the clock. A grumble as well as Styron here. Two agents that could just scan you and take you out through the walls. That is not what you want to see. Paranoia comes back in. Grumble, what can you muster together with Styron? First one's oh. found, second and the third, they just one fall like remaining. flies! Tired with three, didn't even break a sweat. And just like that, Blow. execute falls to pieces. Man, this cannot be it. Two to 11, if this continues, this extrapolation continues, we're going into two drops super fast. I I'm I'm hoping Laze does try to do something different here. Can they could possibly force, but of course, they, that means they have to really win everything, and that means no other ultimate utilities available except what they have. I think they're going for it. Oh, I'm back up against the wall. They didn't even get the spike down. They have they have no good cash a a at all. Stinger, Cover going stingers, out. and half armor. It's a fast push towards A. Here it comes. They need to commit on this. They don't have utility for a reset. The flash is great. Lenny with the first one. And the flash coming in from heaven as well. Wayne answers back. And they're being shut down. Spam through the smoke, a right click. Just takes out Juicy's head. Ooh. Wayne goes a little bit over eager, gets traded out in the meantime. Three on two, lays with a chance in hell. Drops the trip there, but it's instantly broken. They want to go for a fast retake though. Grumble and Siren, the two heroes in the previous round. Now they're into the site from the heavens. Hoping for a peek. Tyra just needs to call out for a second. Just remove that dart. Give himself a little bit more wiggle room. Drop down being heard. Grumble with the first one. And they just fumble the bag. The crossfire's been dismantled. The force buy gets them access to the site. Yeah, they get the plan, but they've lost the round and they're up against match point. Two to 12. This is even worse than the way that they were playing pre previously. They, they came close against this guys, but now it seems like a landslide in favor of DSG. Full buys. I'm a full buys with this guys. They're gonna go for half, I have half Bulldogs, Judges, Marshals. On the side of Laze though, that's where they're gonna get, that's gonna get the Guardians and they're gonna really commit for this. But now it seems as though all hope is lost. Laze has to pull something out of nothing. I'm Styron's 21 and 4. He heard us talking smack at the start of this day. At least the start of the series. Comparing him I against Letty. He's come alive. And so is his team. Every single player hitting their peak just as they need it. The angles oh. they work around to perfection. And two kills already found. Zan answers with a nice one to Vera. But now it's Juicy's turn to light up the server attempts. In a 1v3 with no HP. A Molly oh, no. and a Flash. And a hope and a dream. It's impossible right now. He doesn't have any options to spare. 
It's either A or it's either mid. Either way, 6 HP. Nothing much to do. He's even fumbling. He's not even going to pull out his flash here. Just because he knows how detrimental it's going to be. Oh, A high low setup. Up. No way he gets anything more than one. Possible and the quality. conclusion. Come on. Defenders win. ESG oh. with the most convincing scoreline I think we have seen in MYSG for what feels like a couple of weeks already. I don't think it's been anything close between these two top teams. 13-2, and two, DSG, a commanding victory in this series. Very well played. They look like they're ready for playoffs, like they're ready for ascension. Yep. You, you could have said it better, a commanding victory. We, we're seeing a DSG who is getting better and better every single time that we see them play in this, in this championship. And now... I, I think that was one of the matches that we were anticipating to be really close, even potentially a a third a third map here, a decided yeah. map. But now we'll see it go 2-0 as if it's nothing for them and even more convincing than we saw them before. You could tell that they did their homework, right? DSG, like they didn't skip a beat. Yeah, there were a couple of uh, sloppy runs here and there, but the game plan was really solid. You could see them constantly working mid, you know, uh, on this ascent, uh, on this attacking side, they, they were very comfortable with fighting. They were always willing to push Lays back and then, you know, starve Lays of any information. And their lurks were really solid coming in from Grumble. Him not missing a beat. Grumble would be extremely sharp. Got Styron calling a fantastic game, putting up clutches like no one's business. And Vera just continuing that performance that we saw in Haven, just absolutely wrecking shot. Absolutely. And, uh, I think with that, we're, we're seeing a disguise that we've never seen before, keeping the 100% onto Ascent as well. True. And we're looking at the stats here. It actually came pretty close. First kills went to either side. A little bit more into DSG just by one. Uh, 50 rounds. I don't think we saw much of them as well, I believe. Yeah, but... I mean, uh, D Lays were constantly on a buy, save, buy, yeah. save cycle, and they just could not break it. Uh, DSG was just like slapping them around. Yeah. Um, and the two clutches, I think it was, was it, I know one of it was Styron, I can't Tyron, remember the yep. second one. Was it Vera? It might have been. Uh, honestly, all these rounds, I mean, all of them were just getting multi -fakes. Could have been any one of them, to be honest. Yeah, and I think that's the most important, the two clutches here. Because those were the moments that were four members against two in the side of DSG, where it seems as though that DSG was going to lose, but the clutches came in so well. And we're taking a look at both of the Sova, Styron as well as Lenny being the MVPs, of course. Styron is the one that came out as the victor. But for Lenny as well, he did as much as he could. Oh, but who I feel the worst for is, of course, Divine there. I, I think he got caught in a thick of a lot of times. He was trying to hold on that tree area within A side, most, most of it just because it gives him the most area to control and put out smokes. But... That was where they overrun so many times, especially when Juicy was the one coming with the ISO. Yeah, and I think it's kind of poetic, right? We started off the day comparing the two IGLs, Styron hit to hit with Letty, <laughs> and now we end up in this screen, both top of the scoreboard, but one clearly with, I would say, a better team today. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just thinking because, you know, I can point out things that I can oh, see, but wait, maybe you can point things out you can't see. It's a KST of 93%. 93 oh. is disgusting what on it's 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 difficult to get players a consistent amount above 80 yeah. percent i i i i rarely see a 93 a 90 anything more than 90 it's crazy that he's able to put up these kinds of numbers 340 acs no slouch whatsoever on that silver 6.3 kd 21 kills uh, headshot doesn't really matter he's putting up these kinds of crazy numbers that kst has gotten me shook <laughs> I haven't seen KSD that high for a very long time. I don't think it's actually reached that high, but you know what? Styron in the history here... of Valorant, in the history of Valorant, yes, there is. But in MYG, it, MYG this is a yeah. very rare sight. This is a very rare sight. Yeah, and I think Styron here is the peak of the peak, the pinnacle that he could possibly be in in his career and his form. And uh, I wonder what Glass 